Julie Gerling, Conservative MEP for the South West. Agreement here in Strasbourg on the common fisheries policy, a final vote. Um, what does it mean for fishermen in the South West? Well, it means that um, in the future that they will be subject to some new rules. Um, the most obvious one is, and the most popular one, is that uh, they will no longer be able to discard unwanted catches, so they will have to land what they catch with one or two exceptions still, things like rays that can survive discarding will still be allowed to be uh, discarded. However, um, we really have now got the will to end the, the disgraceful discarding of good edible fish. So um, it's going to mean quite some substantial changes and it's not going to be easy. I mean, this is what a lot of people wanted. There was huge, a huge campaign. Of, of course, Hugh Fernley Whittingstall, a celebrity chef from your constituency, um, very involved in, in that campaign. MEPs like yourself are also calling for an end to discards. Can it be achieved in practice? Yes, I think it can be. Um, nobody says it's easy. We have to change gears on, on, on the, the fishing boats. That means that we've got to work very, very hard with fishermen to find ways of doing that. Um, the, we also need to give fishermen some money to do that. It's totally unfair to say we're going to change your entire working practices and it's at your cost. So we have another report coming, which is not yet done, on the fishing fund, which is... Um, amounts of money that have been set aside and we are working extremely hard here in the Parliament to make sure that most of that money goes not into subsidising the scrapping of boats in Spain and France, not into building new engines for boats but into making sure that boats have got the right gear to deliver this uh, change in requirement which has been demanded by the public and I would say um, put through by Parliament and we have to make the point here that the common fisheries policy has been a disgrace for 30 years because there has been no role for the Parliament in deciding the rules. This is the first time post Lisbon Treaty that the Parliament's had a role and we've made changes. So it is, it's about democracy and it's about people power. So don't underestimate the work that people did um, and I'm delighted it's come to fruition. Another part of the common fisheries policy reform is about what they call regionalisation, the idea of uh, decision making being devolved from Brussels back to uh, places like um, uh, ports in, in the southwest, for example. Is that going to work in practice? Are we going to see real decision making uh, from fishermen themselves? I do hope so. It's down to the member state governments to make sure that that works properly. They've been given the space in this report to do it. They've been given the opportunity to do it. Now they have to deliver. And uh, I'm certainly looking to our government to make sure that they do it. If Brussels are going to loosen their control, which is what we all want, then we have to make sure that the UK government takes up those reins in a responsible, timely and cost-effective way. Now, I'm sure they, they are committed to doing that, but we've yet to see the detail of it. I mean, next week is going to be the annual discussions of, of ministers where they wrangle over quotas. Is next week going to be the last time we get these December talks? Are we going to have a different approach in the future, do you think? Um, I doubt if it will be the last. It will be one of the last, perhaps that's the best way of putting it, because of course these proposals come in over a, a number of years, so it won't all be resolved by next summer, not by any means. Nobody's pretending that. You don't have a policy that's been in place for this long and then suddenly change it overnight. Working practices have to change, not least in, in government departments and amongst fishermen and product producer organisations, you know, it's not going to be easy. Um, what I'd like to do is make sure that we put in place the support mechanisms for everybody in that chain to be able to do it, and that's what we're trying to do. So briefly to sum up, what the differences that uh, South West fishermen are now going to, to see, is this going to be something real and, uh, and really changing for, their, for, for their, their, their working lives? Yes, I believe it will be, and they've certainly been talking to me uh, in, in large numbers about the, some of the problems that they foresee, particularly around discards, and we've been trying wherever possible to make the, uh, make the arrangements to make those more flexible. But, you know, what the European Parliament delivers and what we've been working on for the last three, four years and have now delivered today with this vote is the framework around which member states can deliver. And I can't emphasise that strongly enough because everyone says, oh, the rules come from Brussels and that's, you know, they're, they're bad rules and da-da-da. Well, actually, we've delivered now something which is a framework for good 
governance of fishing. We should see over the next decade recoveries in stock. We should see the landing of fish that people want to eat in the quantities that they want to eat it at reasonable prices. It's all possible now. So um, let's we make sure we'll deliver it.